كل نفس ذائقة الموت Every soul will taste death إن الموت الذي تفرون منه فإنه ملاقيكم Allah سبحانه وتعالى says The death that you are trying to run away from It will itself meet you Wherever you are death will meet you يا غافل القلب عن ذكر المنيات عما قليل ستسوى بين اموات يا غافل القلب عن ذكر المنيات او ذات هارت which is neglectful of remembering death او ذات هارت which does not remember death we remember everything but we cannot remember death Yes, we do believe and we do say that each person will die. And uh, each person can die suddenly. We all believe that. We all say this. But as far as every individual is concerned, he feels that this will not happen to me. When I look at other people, then I will believe this. I will believe this from the depth of my heart. that i may not meet him again i may not see him again he may pass away without any reason suddenly he may just go away but when i think about myself yes i could die any time but i will not die i'll still live another 5 years 10 years 15 years i look healthy my circumstances are okay for ourselves we don't believe يا غافل القلب عن ذكر المنيات we don't talk about death we don't want to talk about death we don't remember death when we are reminded we don't want to remember death when people talk about death when ulama talk about death mashayikh talk about death the duaat those concerned about our deeni life our life of the hereafter talk to us about death we dislike those majalis Whereas the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam has said, "Aksiru dhikra hadi min ladzat." Aksiru dhikra hadi min ladzat. Frequently remember the crusher of desires. And what is the crusher of desires? Al maut, maut. Those people who remember death frequently, then death crushes the desires. and when death crushes the desires then a person will confine himself to lawful desires only and he will stay away from unlawful desires remembrance of death curbs a person from getting tangled up in unlawful desires and it is these unlawful desires which takes a person far and far away from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and success in the hereafter وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَى النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْهَوَى one who is able to fear his rab and one who is able to control his base desires فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ هِيَ الْمَأْوَى for him is jannah jannah is his abode for whom is jannah for the one who is able to curb his base desires who is able to control his unlawful desires and who will be able to control his unlawful desires who remember the day of qiyamah who remembers pul sirat who remembers grave and what will take a person to the grave what will take a person to the day of qiyamah what will take a person towards pul sirat death so one who remembers death and what will happen after death he will be able to control his desires and when a person is able to control his desires he will be able to do what pleases allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when a person remembers death that i could die any moment he will be able to curb his desire what if i die whilst watching this film what if i die whilst chatting with this girl what if i die whilst consuming this drug this alcohol 
what if I die while backbiting? What if I die while doing this, while doing that? Remembrance of death becomes a hurdle between a person and disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.